How you guys doing? This is Martin coming to you with my gym clothes tip for the day. Three tips to help you now that the gyms may or may not open. What are some ways you can do to kind of keep the fat down? Number one, gonna have to give up potato chips. At least if you eat potato chips, eat them every other day. Just don't eat them every day. Though it's hot and stuff, even with all the salt and stuff, and even with like sweating, I'm sweating, I'm in Palm Springs. Still, you can't like get enough money, enough um, calories to burn off that much fat from chips. So that's what I would reduce. Tip number two I've been doing is like this morning, yesterday I had some biscuits and eggs and bacon. But overall, I've, I haven't bought bread this week, trying to cut back on the bread bread and trying to cut back on the pastries so number one tip to try to flatten out that belly to the gyms open while the gym closed number one cut back on potato chips like if, if you can hey if you're going to eat potato chips during the week just don't eat it during the weekend give yourself a break tip number two cut back on the bread not so much carbs because i eat french fries but just cut back on the bread because the bread you because you just eat it and eat it and it'll just go down quick and then like sometimes it doesn't digest and it just sits there and stuff builds up so that's what number two number three tip I would have to say lighten up on the alcohol a little the problem is not that you drink but that you're chasing drinks now if you had the self-control where you can just have one drink everything feels good and you're ready to go but usually like just like a drug you know i gotta have one i gotta have another i gotta have another next thing you know you have a six pack uh, i have i have a 12 pack and then i got a whatever gut gut pack so i'd cut back on the drinking for a while just for special occasions anyway this is a depression economy anyway don't let anyone fool you don't let all the cars all the people taking trips this is a depression economy, man. If it weren't for the stimulus, people wouldn't be eating. They ain't even eating now. They're like hustling out to get the Audis. I'd be just ragging on grocery outlet and stuff. And then they didn't, they're going to cut to $600. So now we're going to feel like, like the tide already went out. And we saw 20 million people, 25 million people found out their companies didn't have the structure to stay in. You know, let's find out what now when like the... And the package is not even done yet. They're still fighting over it. I'm telling you, you will not see this package until mid-September, early October at the latest. So, I mean, don't look for that package to come. So what that means you got to do, tip number one. So first, let's just summarize three tips. And then what you got to do is you got to subscribe to my programs, man. I can't teach you all this. Like when I talk to you about the $25, $75, $125 programs. Now you need to like, all I'm trying to do is just build belief. Like, hey, it's possible to pay off a 60-month car loan before 60 months. Now the technique and the strategies I use, that's why I'm charging you $25, $75, and $25 pro, $25. Like for me, I'm gonna pay 29. Mo I'm in 29 months in the car payments. I have about 7,946 left. Divide that by 400, so I end up paying up a 60 month car loan within like 50 months minimum. And I could even go lower depending on how depending on how soon I can like start applying the extra money. So. But I can't I gotta tell you the strategies. Hey, are you disciplined to stay home? Uh, are you disciplined not to eat? Hey, can I show you how to do a budget for food? Can I show you some ways to avoid like going out? Can are you you are you strong enough not to give like relatives money? So there's a whole bunch of stuff that just goes into it. Yes, yeah, so the reason I ask people for, I'm asking you for money. Well, you, you pay money for the Mercedes. I see you guys pay money for your Mercedes, your Audis and stuff. You you, you showboat and you see me and my Camry. You, you're rolling up on me. You're rolling past me with your Infinity. And then somebody asks you for some money and you go try to, you, you, uh, I ain't got no money, man. You, you, are you going to give me a discount? I ain't going to give you a discount, man. 25 million people got a discount. They've been saying, hey, I need some time off. I need some time off. Well, you know what? Now you got all the time off you want now. And you thought, hey, Tr Uncle Trump was going to give us some money to help us. Now Uncle Trump ain't giving you nothing now. Now you're just, now you're just, uh, you're in bad shape, man. So that's why I say, if you, when you're going to interview for these jobs, you want to be confident when you go in there. That's why I say, have that car bill paid up. Because then when you're in there, you're not worried about, you're not worried about like, hey, I'm, you're telling the truth when you're in there with them. You're looking at them straight. This is what I have. I've saved this much money up. 
this is what I can do for your company. And then you're like, hey, I, you can give me a couple of weeks to like have me take a test, have me test out some things, have me help you out. Man, what do you think I should do to do to help you out? But you just want to be, just want to be confident. You want to like realize, hey, I got money for groceries. I got money to buy gas. If you know you have money for groceries, money to buy gas, that's confidence, man. That's more confidence than going out to your Beamer or Mercedes. That, that, that's not confidence, man. I have people in the ghetto, man. I got people in the ghetto with Maserati. I like my apartment complex. I got Maseratis, BMW. What is it? The Mercedes Benz 4x4. The, uh, Land Rover Discoveries. All the different models. Cars with mufflers. I, I got it all, man. And you know what I also got? I got six and seven people squashed in two in-bedroom apartments, man. That's what I got. That's what I'm saying. So that's why I'm saying it's like not like everything that looks like everything that looks like it's glittering is not gold, man. There's always some kind of catch to it. So that's why I think it's funny. I just just got to let out my window. Like, you know, when you start recording, people start, I got these old people. They be pulling out. And I, I don't want to talk to them. Half of them gay and shit, man. You got to suck your dick, man. Shit. I know I'm black. I know you guys hear all those rumors, but no, brother ain't sucking your dick. So let's get back on it. But yeah, that's what I'm saying, man. Get on that $25, $75, $125 program. Get that car loan paid off, man. That, the more confidence you have, the more money you have, the more confidence you have, the better you're going to interview, the quicker you're going to get a job. That's why I got the $397, $697, $797, get out the stack program, man. Let's get those jobs, man. That package, I'm spending like two and three thousand dollars on my training and i'm not asking you some of you guys have got twelve hundred dollars six hundred dollar bonus for a couple of weeks hey why don't you invest in yourself if you just invest if you just invest two hundred dollars three hundred a thousand dollars in yourself more than like the other 25 million people 26 million people soon to be 27 million people out of work now that college football isn't going on who you think's going to get the job? You go in there with like, hey, this is what I can do. Boom, boom, boom. And if I'm not doing that, hey, then maybe you can. I can help you do this. I can help you do that. I can give you some training. You can, I can like just do this. I mean, that's what I'm giving you is confidence. I'm giving you confidence with technique. But you got to pay for it. If you don't want to pay for it, that's okay, man. I was just at the park right now. I had two men in the park, pigeons shitting all over the place. They're like in this little cubby hole sleeping. Is that how you want to be? Is that how you want to turn up, man? You think it, it could happen, man. Look at the people who work at the theaters. Look at the people who work in the schools who thought there would be online schooling. There's no janitor. There's no bus driver. There's no security guard. There's no cafeteria worker. There's just somebody sitting at home right now. That, that could easily be you. But, hey, what about they say, hey, we need some people to come in and start getting the um, school ready for people to come back in. Or, hey... Can you come in and like uh, cook, help us bring in some products and stuff? Can you help us? I, said, I can do this. I, I, sure, sure, sure. Not only can I do that, I can stack it, I can count it, and I can cook it. Now, then they say, hey, let's get this guy on, get this guy on board. That's the kind of skills that I'm going to give you. And then I have my $100 to $100,000 commission programs. Like I tell you, if you're working commission job, we're going to talk strategy. Only strategies I'm going to give you, number one, you just need to have a little money saved up. And then also we got the Blackjack Lottery, Powerball Lottery Retirement Funds. Look, what did I tell you before? Banks want you to put $500 in the bank. They're going to give you 1% interest. You know what 1% interest on $500 is? $5. $5. I could do like those two homeless guys. Huddle up, cuddling, and dinner, but pigeons shitting all over them. I can, I can, they could probably get you $5 in like maybe two hours. I'll probably get you $5 in... One hour. They scared. They scared of me. Think I'm gonna rob them. Give me five dollars. Give me five dollars. They give me five dollars, man. Stereotype. Hey, maybe if I'm, or just whip it. Maybe I'm a pretty girl. I'm a pretty girl. Give me five dollars. Give me five dollars. I get five dollars. Then it all depends on how you look to the person you're talking to. Hey, do they want to hook you up? They're gonna hook you up, man. But instead of putting my five hundred dollars in the bank, I'm gonna take my five hundred dollars and go to Vegas. If I could get a ten percent return, which is fifty dollars on that. I would have made 10 times more than what I would have put it in a bank for a year. Just think about that. Just think, a long time ago, back in the 2000s, there was a time you could put money in a bank at 10% interest and get past what we call, this generation don't know about that. You guys too busy living, driving your young, young, a lot of young people driving their fancy cars fucking next to their mom and dad at home, see. You don't know about that.
passive income stuff, man. You know what passive income is? That means like you put money in the bank and you don't have to work for it. So if I have $500 and I put it in the bank at 10%, I get $50 back and I didn't have to work for it. So that's called passive income. Now I got to go to Vegas. I got to charge a room. I got to sit down at the table. I got into all these blackjack strategies, all that to get a $50 return, 10 times more than the bank. That's just minimum. That's if I really don't know what I'm doing when I'm playing the cards. Now, if I really know what I'm doing and playing the cards, I should at least bring back like $200, $300. But we're just going to say the minimum. I just want you to think about the difference between putting $500 in the bank and 10% interest and getting $50 back doing nothing, put, taking $500, going to Vegas, playing at a table, cards, people, all that, a few alcohol drinks, and getting $50. See the difference between passive income and money you have to work for? You see how that $500 is sitting there. It's like protected. It's like protected by the guns and stuff. No one touches it. And at the end, it's like a baby. It's like it's like having a girl who just got pregnant. Instead of giving you, giving you a kiss, you're giving you money. You'd fuck her all day long. That's what it is. That put, that's, that's how it was to put $500 in the bank. And you get 10% back at the and you get 10% back, which is $50. It's like screwing your girlfriend, coming inside her. Every year she's popping out money, popping out money. What would happen if you had a girlfriend? No protection. You could hit her every night, do what you gotta do, shoot inside, cream pie, some they say. Just do it for that. Would you stop doing it? Of course not. You she, she keep, as long as she keeps taking it, you're gonna keep putting it in, right? That's what it's like to put money in the bank and get passive income back. That's how it was when I grew up. I could put ten dollars, five hundred dollars this year, two hundred dollars next year, three hundred dollars the year after that, a thousand dollars a year after that, and get five percent, ten percent, fifteen percent back on my money. Now you put that money in the bank, five hundred dollars, you lose money. Five dollars. What is five dollars when they're charging you five or six dollars for just putting your money there? You're losing money, but you still got to put your money in for storage. So think about that for all you guys. Woman, think about the woman. Hey, think about you got a boyfriend, you like sex, and you don't like to use protection, but you're worried about getting pregnant, and he, you, you don't mind, and you, he, he's hitting you, you. He's like, honey, come inside, and I don't get pregnant. You know what she going to do? She's going to say, say, keep putting it in. Keep feeding me. Keep feeding me. That's what it's like with the money putting five hundred dollars in the bank and getting passive income back it's just feeding you feeding it just coming out once a year once a year popping out popping out popping out something you'll do all the time so think about that now all your money is at risk whether it's real estate or if it's like me going to vegas or, or like my powerball lottery watch i paid a play a 32 dollars worth of lottery put that money in see if you get any money back just i gotta take that four dollars put it in get a return see so that's something I want you to think about. And then some of you guys are saying, man, I don't like what you're saying, man. What are you saying? Hey, if you guys want also, I'm going to for a training class, four days. For some of you guys who want to get some highlights of what I learned, that's uh, $50. Just sit down, 10 to 15 minutes, giving you highlights. If you like what you see, then I'll get you hooked up with the program. And you can do that program. So something I want some things to think about. And then as I head off now, Hey, join the channel. We're trying to get 1 million people on this channel. 1 million people. Let's get 1 million people. We got 25 million people out of work, 27 soon. Hey, they're good. people are hiring for jobs. I see it, but you're not going to just hire you to hire you. They're going to hire you because you have something to set, something to give. That's why I'm saying hook up with my program. Get hooked up. Sign them on my programs. Just get a sign up on my channel. Sure, sign them on the program. I know you say, well, yes, yeah, for your money because you need money, man. Shit. No one's going to be. Uh, Come on, man. You should be feel bad. Feel, you should hate yourself shopping at the 99 cent store, grocery outlet, Target for food. Man, that's embarrassing. And if you're married, if you think, we're doing good, honey. We got a nice car living across from an Amazon warehouse. Come on, man. Join the channel, man. Join the channel. Join the channel. That's it. Talk to you later.